Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a fake Boglehead investor. I'm a throw the book stop being a broke loser. It's on Amazon. And by popular demand, I need to give you my in-depth analysis of this new meme craze that's going on with some Hong Kong-based fintech company. HKD, blah, 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 blah. Now on YouTube, there's a lot of clownery that goes on. And at the end of the day, people like me have to talk about it because if we don't, we don't get views and your fans get mad because they want you to give their commentary, blah, 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 blah. So here I am talking about some stupid clown stock. Okay, what happened? Well, apparently, and I've done like almost no DD because I don't have to because it's stupid. Apparently, some stock that's based in, you know, some company that's based in Hong Kong has this stock. They're, they're listed on uh, on the, uh, the U.S. exchange. And you can even buy it on Robinhood. It's hilarious. And apparently, it's skyrocketed to massive, uh, uh, massive proportions by market cap. I believe this tiny little company based in Hong Kong, the market cap has surpassed stocks like... Uh, Know, companies like Bank of America, Costco. I think I even saw it bigger than Alibaba at some point. <laughs> I can't wait for all the haters. See, you bought Baba. Look at HKD. It's worth it's more. <laughs> so apparently, there's some kind of like massive, insane pump going on. Now, do I understand exactly why this happened? No. But I suspect a bunch of clowns just decided to pump the stock or buy the stock all at once or in a very coordinated fashion. And it sent the stock price up massively. And the company even released a statement saying, you know, thanking whoever was buying the stock. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But they have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Would that be hilarious if they somehow like issued a bunch of shares? Maybe he's set for life. <laughs> so, okay, there's... That, that's literally it. Like, there's this there's this company based in Hong Kong. They have shares listed on our, uh, I think, the New York Stock Exchange, and it's skyrocketed. Like, the market cap of this company is out of freaking control, and of course, it's massively overvalued. Now, what's going on on YouTube is everybody's making videos about it, and I even saw a video from the Ape Father. Remember that freaking clown that bought AMC in the 40s or 50s and Redbox at $15 and Dogecoin. Literally every single bubble he's thrown his money into, and he's lost his butt. Well, he made a video. Was, well, see, strong man, you see, this is the power of retail investors. What, what is the power of retail investors? Basically, pumping and dumping and screwing each other over. Because here's how this whole clown show works: some retail investors they start talking about the stock, blah 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 blah, blah and they buy positions in the stock. And then they go on Wall Street Bats or whatever stupid little chat room, maybe 4chan. <laughs> I'm sure some of you clowns are on 4chan. And for some reason, they're able to pump up the stock. The stock gets popular, blah, 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 blah. And what happens is everybody starts to jump on the bandwagon. All these retail clowns because they see the stock go up and that's why retail buy stocks. Look at Tesla. So the stock keeps going up and up and up and up. And the retail investors... They're literally just scamming each other because they're trying to convince each other to diamond hands or to buy in. So it just becomes this massive, you know, disgusting pump and dump scheme where re some retail investors try to convince other retail investors to keep buying into the stock to keep the stock price going up and up and up, or at least at, at, at an elevated position, at an elevated price. So at some point, the original clowns can sell off and make a fortune. Now, what eventually happens with all these little clown stocks is the stock hits a certain point where people decide to sell. Like, okay, I'm gonna freaking sell. And the stock, the stock price will utterly collapse. It will collapse in a straight line down. Go look at any freaking cryptocurrency, you know, a million token. I mean, uh, uh, look at every freaking scammer uh, cryptocurrency. They all have this massive insane run up 
and then they utterly collapse and it's instantaneous. So what's gonna happen is some retail investors will make an absolute fortune and the vast majority will probably lose whatever stupid gambling money they put into the stock. Okay? I, I, I can 100 percent predict it. It's 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 so it's so easy to predict. So if if you're sitting here and like you're watching the ape father, you know, the clown father, or you're watching, you know, some other stupid YouTuber that HKD, will it 10x from here? And they have a little, you know, pee-pee face on their thumbnail. Don't listen to them, okay? This stock will collapse and it will collapse utterly and almost instantaneously. It will be a massive obliteration, especially at this kind of market cap. <laughs> I don't even know what the government's thinking. Like, I bet they see this and they're just like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so I, I highly encourage you not to play games like this. And I can guarantee you, you've already missed the part where you, you've already missed making money off of this, all right? All the clowns that got in early, sure, they've made money as long as they sell at some point. But you, if you're buying right now after it's already all over the news and, you know, everybody's talking about it, you're not going to make any money. You're going to probably lose all your freaking money. So once again, this video is just here to remind you, this is a clown stock. It will collapse utterly just like a cryptocurrency. And most likely you're going to lose whatever money you put into it. And always remember, all these retail investor clowns are just there to pump up their stocks and to eventually sell out of them and leave other retail investors holding the bags. So don't listen to the propaganda of, oh, this is the power of retail. We're all together fighting the man. You're not fighting the man. You're not fighting anybody. I bet you the hedge funds could probably short this crap and make a killing when it collapses. But at the end of the day, you're not fighting the man. You're just... It's just some retail investors screwing over, over others. You're not you're not changing anything, you freaking clowns. So that that's really my thoughts. I mean, you know, as a YouTuber, I have to talk about this. Oh my god, HKD. Oh, what's the DD strong man? Uh, what do the financial statements say? Well, I can tell you, it's a tiny freaking company. I think it's got like it's like a fintech company. I think they have like a little bank or whatever. <laughs> like it's it's just another typical startup, probably. You know, they, I think it was first listed in. 2019 something like that so i mean i think it's been trading for a little bit on the stock exchange but it's just a tiny company to have a market cap larger than freaking costco and whatever it's so stupid <laughs> so no i don't feel any fomo you shouldn't feel any fomo this is a stupid joke i guarantee you the eight father is going to buy in at the top and the absolute epic collapse that will happen to this stock will be beautiful and I will be there to make fun of all you who lose your money anyway that's it there's really nothing to talk about it's just a clown stock I mean what am I gonna say oh well if you buy it at this support level maybe shut up all right guys talk to you later cheers